Hello everyone, welcome back to computer class. Today, I am going to start a new lesson that is lesson number 8. The name is Fundamentals of QBasic. First is about content, introduction, features of QBasic, QBasic screens, basic statements. First is about introduction. Before going to learn the QBasic, you need to know what is meant by QBasic. First, a computer can understand only computer language. Your language, Kannada, English, Hindi, whatever, computer won't understand, right? Computer will understand only the computer language. So, we need to learn the QBasic or the basic, whatever. This QBasic, everything is a computer language. Using that computer language, you can communicate with the computer and you can get the result. First, you need to know what is meant by basic. Basic means this is also one kind of a computer language. The full form of basic is beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code. Okay. This basic was developed by John Kemeny and Thomas Kurtz. Next, in the form of basic only, they have developed GW basic, P basic and the Q basic. Okay. This and all are the next extended versions of a basic but today you are going to learn about q basic right what is meant by q basic q basic full form is quick beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code this q basic was developed by bill gates and paul allen in the year 1975 next is about features of q basic first one it is user friendly mean means QBasic is very user friendly. You can download and you can install in your computer. You can work easily. It is not difficult to work in the QBasic. Second one, the syntax or the grammar of the statement is very simple. Syntax or grammar in the sense, how you need to write the QBasic. The format will be there for every kind of programming language. Okay, the QBasic is different, basic is different, Java is different, C, C++, every programming languages are different. Okay, you need to learn the grammar, how to write the QBasic. That is very easy to learn also. Next, it provides window-based platform. Means, window-based platform means in your system if you are using the windows. Windows means it may be a 8.17 or Windows XP or Windows 10, whatever. It will support for all kind of windows in the system. It is a compiler-based language. Compiler-based means after writing a program, we need to compile. Means we need to check whether the program is having the error or not. Okay. Before going to get the output, you can remove the error and you can compile it easily. Okay. Next, debugging can be done easily. After the compilation, you will get to know the error is there or not. Any mistake is there or not. If any mistake is there, you can remove the mistake. You can remove the error easily. That is known as debugging. Debugging means removing the error is very easily, easy in, in the QBasic programming language. Next is QBasic screen. Okay. You will download the QBasic and you will open the QBasic. When you open the QBasic, you will get one blue color screen. That is one kind of screen. And one more kind of screen you will get. I will explain about that. First, in a QBasic, there are two different screens. One is blue screen. What you will get the first screen, that is the blue color screen. Why you will use, why, for what purpose you can use that blue color screen? Blue screen is used to write the program. Okay, you need to get the added value of two number. Means the addition of two number program, you can write in a blue color screen. After writing in a blue color screen, you will get a black color screen. Okay, after the compilation. That screen is used to get the result used to get the output okay the output will be displayed in a black color screen blue color screen is used to write the program black color screen is used to get the output in a QBasic. next is about basic statements here basic statement this kind of statements you can write in a program okay what is meant by program a program is step by step instructions given to a computer okay line by line instruction will be that that whole instruction is known as together we will call it as a program and every programming language is based on rule right i have said qbasic is different java is different every program will be having some of the rules right you need to follow those rules then only you will get the proper output 
and those rules are best described by statements and commands. Okay, statements and commands are used in a rules to follow up the rules in a program. Then you will get the proper output. First is about statements. You need to know what is meant by statement. Statements are the building blocks of a program. Means we need the statement as a main part in a program. Okay, without knowing the statement, you can't write any kind of program in a basic or QBasic or whatever. Okay, they are executed in the same order as they are written. Means in which line they are written in a order wise only they will be executed. First line number one, line number two, three in that order only it will be executed and you will get the output. Some of the statements are let, end, print, input and if then. I'll explain that to statements one by one. First one statement in a queue basic or basic is let. Okay, what is the use of this let? Let is used to assign the value to a variable. Means you need to give the any value to a variable. Variable is nothing but any character. Okay, A to Z any character you can call it as a variable. Value in the sense it may be a number value or it may be any name or any address or whatever. You are going to give that address a value in a variable means we need to use a let statement okay you will get to know i'll explain it properly you will get to know with the example also this is used to assign a numeric or the string constant to a variable numeric means number value string means string constant means it is the it may be a set of letters or it may be a paragraph or whatever that is known as a string okay how you can assign a value to a variable see here if you are going to add the two number means you need the two number right six of six and four you think like that six is one way one value four is a one value here in a computer program we can't give only the values like that okay with the one letter a or B you need to take. A equals to 6 and B equals to 4 like that we need to take. Okay. So to give the values to a variable like that we need to use the let come. Let statement. Example let A equals to 10 and let B equals to 6. Now the two values are A is 10 and B is 6. You can add easily now. How you can add? You can add uh, A plus B means a plus b means 10 plus 6 it will take don't write 10 plus 6 okay it is a programming language right so you need to write a plus b only okay instead of writing a let you can write like this also see here let is not compulsorily you can't it let is not compulsory statement without a let also you can write a program instead of let a equals to 10 you can write a equals to 10 and b equals to 6 you can write like this also this is about let's see Next is about end. End is a one kind of statement. What is the use of end? It indicates the termination of a program. If you saw that end means we will get to know the program is in the program ending means you can write the end statement. Okay. End is used to close the program or end the program or to terminate the program. Okay. It is used as the last statement of a program. Usually ending part will be the last. So end statement is the last statement of a program and it is an optional statement. Without the end also you can write the program. It is not a compulsory statement. How you can write the program? See here. CLS. CLS means if we will write in a beginning. I'll explain it later. So what is mean by CLS? Everything. Now you got only about a let. I am now I am explaining about end, right? I'll explain one by one. First is CLS, then like the statements will be there. Dotted line means statement. Last statement is the end. You are going to end the program means you can write the end. It is not a compulsory. Okay, this is about end statement in QBasic. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day.